resistance workout, very similar to last week's Monday workout. We're gonna do six exercises in the first circuit, three times through, 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off. I'm gonna try and demo those moves for you so you're not in like, ah, what's going on? Um, then we're gonna have a little cardio crunch for four minutes, back to six moves again, three times, and then back to a little cardio at the end. No arms today after because there's a lot of arms in this workout. Um, so no need to go Coco crazy. Uh, let, let's have a great workout. That's a blizzard workout. Michelle, it's a blizzard here for real. <laughs> okay, um, let's go. Towel if you need, if you sweat profusely like myself, um, or, and, but definitely have water or coffee. Maybe coffee's your jam, workout jam or whatever the hell you drink during you work out. All right, let's warm up and let's get your music blasting. I hope you all had a nice weekend. There's my music. There we go. Okay, oh, let's take a big old deep breath in, squeeze that booty. Shoulders away from your ears. Again, fill up that those lungs and empty that head. It's gonna be easy for me. I'm gonna empty it right now. Beautiful, big rolls back, big rolls back. Hi, Kate. Who else just jumped in? Hi, Pandora. Really keep those shoulders back, squeeze your butt, start to activate all your muscles. And forward. Activate, activate, activate. Let's give a big hug, open up, open, open, open. Hi, Mary, hi, Lena. Grab dumbbells if you got them, people. And hug, hug yourself. Good. Grab that hula hoop. I know somebody was walking around the neighborhood with a huge hula hoop. <laughs> Grab that hula hoop, Allison. Allison, is this how you hula hoop? Just kidding, asking for a friend. Good job. I want you to hit those hammies. So when you go, when your butt goes back, really ignite it. So you feel those hamstrings light up, go the other way. Navel to spine, shoulders down your back. Good. Let's reach up, reach up. Reach, you're pulling something down. Shoulders away from your ears. Now both hands up and we're on your toes. You're reaching, your body is nice and long. Find space between your vertebrae. Then your feet come flat to the ground. You hinge at the hips, micro bend in your knees. Hang out right here. Beautiful. Oh, that feels so nice. Then bend your knees, press out with your arms and side to side. Get those hips warmed up. And it just feels good. I think this feels so good. Beautiful. Put both your hands down on the ground. One hand comes up. Your eyes follow it up. You're opening up your chest. That spinal rotation. Hand goes back down to the ground. And your other one comes up. Follow it, follow it, follow it, follow it. Beautiful. From here, just give me a walk out. Walk out, walk out, walk out with those hands. And hit that high plank and walk back and up. Give me one more, walk it out. Walk it back, roll it up slowly. And then I want you to roll your shoulders down your back at the top and find their neutral position. They're not like, you're not having them down like this. They're in neutral position, but down, okay? So that's how your shoulders live this workout. <clears throat> where they're hanging out. I'm gonna show you the first move. If you have dumbbells, grab them. Um, or if you don't have dumbbells and you have a towel, grab it, roll it up, shoulders down your back, and you're gonna, you can use the towel. You just pull on that towel, it's gonna to create resistance and you're gonna feel through your arms. So that's an option. Otherwise, if you have dumbbells, feet are hip width apart, micro bending your knees, we're doing that deadlift. So you hinge at the hips, booty's on fire. When we get down to deadlift form, right here, two rows, two rows, come back up, squeeze that booty at the top. Over, up, that's your move. First move, we're gonna hit the first circuit. 40 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, in three, in two, and one. Hit it, two rows when you're in that 
chest to ground position. Keep that neutral spine pressing into the ground to come up. This is lighting up our back muscles from your back, your booty, hammies, calves, and your feet. Keep that neutral spine. When you hit those two rows, elbows stay close to your sides. Up, beautiful. Keep going, give me one more. You got five seconds. Press the ground away. Squeeze that booty. Hi, everybody. Time. Let me show you the next move. Arms are going above your head. So again, you have a towel. You hold the towel above your head and pull it. And you are just doing rear lunges. Okay? Join me. So if you have those weights above your head or your towel, your shoulders are to stay down. If you don't like that rear lunge, give me a little step and a little bend. Okay? Reduce the range of motion. Make it your move. Navel spine. Squeeze that booty. Keep going. Press those weights away. Or pull that towel apart. Time. 40 seconds is so kind. So next move, you're going to wrap your weights. So meaning they're kind of chilling out on your shoulders. You are in an ISO squat. And you are walking. Two, three, up. One, two, three, back. Your tempo, your move. But maybe you want to play with that depth of that squat. Maybe you're like, yeah, I can only, yeah, I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> but you play with that. Obviously, the heart lower you go, the more you're firing up your muscles. Three up, three back. You got this. We got this. We can carry this. Time. Beautiful. We are going into a squat with an alternating arm press. So back up and you're pressing one side. Alternating arm press. Squeeze that booty at the top. I'm even coming up a little bit on my toe. One toe. I think that's just because I'm short and I like want that extra inch. Breathe. The both these circuits are gonna be pretty low impact. We'll hit some impact in the cardio. Three, two, one. Yes, we did that, we did that. Guys, we're doing something we don't usually do. We're getting on the ground. One weight, high plank, pulling it through. Pulling it through. Right here. You hit that high plank, you pull that weight from one side to the other. Hit that high plank, squeeze that booty, pull that weight across. So the weight is behind your hands. If you do not have a weight in your hand or to work with, tap one arm under and across. Tap one arm under and across. What I want you to focus on this move, one, you can be on your knees, totally fine. Two, your hips are trying to remain, in, they want to move, but keep them as stable as possible. Time. So I was feeling really friendly here and I threw push-ups in. Hand release push-ups. So you are going all the way down, you do not need your weights. You go all the way down to the ground, release your hands, press up. Let's go. Release those hands. Press up. You can have your knees on the ground. You can be on a wall. Keep a neutral spine. Press that ground away. You got less than 10 seconds. And these are our six moves. Three, two, one. Pop it back up. We're going to our first move, our deadlift with the two rows. Get ready. Three, two, shoulders down, feet hip width apart. Go down, go over, two rows. Back up, press into the ground. 
over, hands are just hanging out, two rows, back up, again, use your towel, pull it apart, there's your resistance, or if you have a mini band, you can use the mini band as resistance, that loopy band, press that ground away, beautiful, keep that neutral spine, that butt is fired up, so excited to be involved in so many movements. Oh, no pun. Ready, time. Ready for that rear lunge, holding our weights or your mini band or your towel above your head. Press it up, shoulders stay down and step it back. Navel to spine. You're breathing. Beautiful, everybody. Yes. Good. Who else do I have? Keep going. Go, Rosemary. Go, Mary. Go, Laurel. Yes, Renata. Rebecca, good. Push those arms up. Three, two, one. Rack them, baby. Find that squat, that ISO squat. Three, two, navel to spine, and walk two, three steps, back two, three steps. So I want, you can play with how big your steps are, right? You can play with your speed. You can play with the depth of your squat. Like you got a package on your shoulders and you're hustling to get it somewhere. Navel to spine. Keep that chest proud. Beautiful. Who is that, Julia? Good job. Who else is down there working out with Mary? Hi, Annabelle. Good job. Okay, we got our um, squat to alternating press. Give your shoulders a rest. Roll them back down your back. Squeeze it, core, squat, press. I want an explosive press up. So really push it up. If you're just working with a towel or a mini band, you can hold it and do it at the same time. So rather than alternating arms, press them up together. Keep going. Yes, proud chest. Press that booty back. Time. High plank, pull through. It's one weight. The weight is right behind your hands. You're pressing that ground away, pulling the weight to the other side. You can drag it on the floor. You can pick it up and place it. Your call. The further that weight goes beyond your body line, the harder that pullover is. Recruiting more lat muscle. Try to keep those hips from moving. You got five seconds. Keep going. Press that ground away. Pull that. Weight across, good job. Hand release push ups. Guys, I'm sweating. So you're going all the way down to the ground. Release your hands when your bodies are on the ground. Press back up. Here we go. Elbows go 45 degrees back, slightly wider than your shoulder. Press that ground up. I think you're not press the ground away. Not up. Uh. Elbows 45 degrees back, hands slightly wider than your shoulders. Body moves up as one unit. You can keep your knees on the ground and press up, totally fine. If that's gonna help you keep your form, I want it. Gently placing your body on the ground. Time. We got one more time through this circuit. Good job, everybody. Get ready. Deadlift with two rows, right down, feet are hip width apart, micro bending your knees. You bend over, two rows, 
press the ground away with your feet come up. That spine stays neutral, meaning your head doesn't drop. <laughs> That's really the only factor in this, the neutral spine right now in this move. Ah, press the ground away. So that fold, the closer you get to a 90 degree fold, the more you're gonna feel the hamstrings and calves light up on the back side of your body when you do deadlift. Beautiful time. Get ready for your rear lunge with holding your arms above your head. Three, two, one, shoulders stay down, rear lunge. <clears throat> Again, your range of motion in your rear lunge, every, it could be right there, be right there. You play with that. <clears throat> play with that step back. <sighs> Push those arms up. Try and get that bend out of your elbows. Don't hyperextend, but press. Repress up to the ceiling with those weights. Time. All right, rack them. We're going on a squat walk. We're going on a squatty snow walk. Rack those weights. Find that isometric squat. Get a little lower this time. It's your last time here. You want to add a forward walk? If you can fit four walks in, go for it. Navel to spine this whole time. Ah, feel the power of your legs. Good job. Beautiful. Yes, you could hold it right at your chest. If you don't have two weights, it's totally fine. Or you have a one real heavy weight. Get a little lower. You got five, you got three. You're done with that one. We're gonna do the alternating squat and press. No tension in your shoulders, no tension in your neck. Get ready, here we go. Squat, press. Pretend like you have a chocolate and you're really trying to lodge that weight. Good job, keep going. Yes, get ready for your pull through. High plank pull through. So the further you have to reach for that weight, the harder this move is. But you're only allowed to make it go further if you keep your hips isolated and your booty down. Feel that core activate as you reach that arm under. Focus on keeping your hands under your shoulders. Because there's movement here, your body's gonna go for that path of least resistance, which means they don't, your hands don't wanna be under your shoulders. <sighs> time. Last time in this circuit. Hand release push-ups. So gently place your body on the ground from this high plank position. Bend your elbows, squeeze your butt. Gently place yourself on the ground. Release your hands. Press back up. Press that ground away. Squeeze that booty. Good job. Under 10 seconds. Time. Good job. That's circuit one. It's done. It's done. You take a sip of water. We are going into a four minute cardio. Um, we're not doing an AMRAP. We're not doing a pyramid. We're not doing a Tabata. We're
we're doing four minutes of work. Each minute has one move. And these moves are not like you can modify them. You don't need your weights for this round. So make sure they're not in your way. First move, two jacks. So you can step out one, two, and then I want knee, 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 knee. So it's two, two, knee, 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 knee. That's the first move. That's for one minute. We're gonna roll right into our second move, which is a skater to high knees, three high knees, or whatever to get you to the other leg to leap over. That is it with high knees. If skaters are too much, you could take a big step and do marches, or you could do a side lunge up, 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 up. Your options there. Third move, walking out like we did in the warm up. We're gonna walk out and we're going down, down to a forearm plank, up, up, walk it back up. And our last move is on the ground for plank jacks to, what was the other one? Oh, four mountain climbers, four and four. You know I love the number four. <laughs> okay, so let's get ready. Two jacks, cross knee, cross knee, cross knee, cross knee for one minute. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Jack, jack, knee, 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 knee. You do you. One, two, two, three, four. Three, four. Really get those arms and knees together too. Oh, I just did four jacks. You do you. Two, three. Yeah, I'm gonna do four jacks now. One, two, three. Keep it all four. One, two, three. You do you. Two, three, four. Make sure you're breathing. Two, three, four. One. Step it out. Listen to your body. Good job, everybody. Keep going. You got less than five seconds to the skate turns. Here we go. Ice skates on. Leap it over. One, two, three, four. I did four. Woo. Ah. Really stick that landing. If you're hitting a skater, try and hit, hit that landing. It's soft. Good job, everybody. Breathe. Ah. Shoulders down your back. Yes. Ah, walk it out. Here we go. Arms up. Walk it out. Down, down, up, up. Walk it back. And reach up. Speed that walk up. Down, down, up. Keep those hips as stable as possible. I have a nice wide stance for stability. You got this. Oh, squeeze that butt when you hit that high plank. Fire up your leg muscles, navel spine. Beautiful. Oh, stay right here in that high plank. Give me four plank jacks. Two, three, four, four high knees. One, two, three, four. Plank jacks. High knees, or I mean mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. Press that ground away. You're almost there. One, two, three, four. Less than a tabata round. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Time, time. Give four minutes of cardio. 
You should be damn proud. Four minutes, sustain cardio. Next circuit, six moves on the ground with your weights or, or mini battle work. Okay, sip water. I'm gonna bring you down to the ground with me. Here we go. First move is on your back. They are scissors. So, oh, hold on a second. So, lay down on your back, grab your weights. Your weights are above your head. You are, do I do a chest press? Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, on your back. So, when you go down to your back, I want, let me adjust it. Sorry, I'm talking a lot. When you are on your back, lower back is pressed into the mat. I like for you to start with your legs up high. And I want your arms up. So I want down and up, both arms. That's your first move. Don't let that foot touch the ground as it goes down. Lower back pressed into the mat. And you're pressing those arms up. I should start the clock, right? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Pretend you didn't hear that. The clock was going. You're almost done. So you, if it becomes too much with your head off the ground, just put your head back on the ground. You feel like taking it up a level. You take your shoulders off the mat. Ugh. Press that lower back into the mat the entire time. That is a no option to come off the mat. So if you need to adjust how low your leg goes to make sure your back stays on the mat, do that. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. I believe we're flipping over. Yes. So we are going into a high plank. Let me show you. I want high plank, row, row. I want you to walk or pop your legs into bear, row, row. You can pop them or walk them. Row in each one, okay? Here we go. Time, let's go. Row, row, pop it into bear. Ugh. Bear, those knees are directly under your hips and off the ground. Keep those hips as stable as possible. Time, good job. Take it over to your back. And we are doing a Russian twist. So shoulders down your back. You can have one weight or both weights right at your chest. Your feet can stay on the ground. And you can go side to side. Breathing, level it up. One leg off the ground. Shoulders down your back. Level it up again. Two legs off the ground. Shoulders down your back. You're breathing. I'm only using one weight here. Time, turn it over. We're gonna do something fun. I don't think we've done this before with the weight behind the leg. Tuck that weight right behind your knee. We're gonna do weighted donkey kicks. So come down on your forearm, weight behind your knee, and you're going up. You have a neutral spine. I like you with your forearms on the ground because that's gonna eliminate your hips from doing something funny and wrong. Press that heel to the ceiling. Navel to spine. Hi, booty cakes, we love you. Press it up and hammies, feel those hammies lighten up. And your core has to be engaged here. 
time and flip that weight right over to the other side. I'll flip over. If you are more comfortable on your forearms, totally fine. Just keep your navel to spine and you are just pressing up. It's not a huge movement. I have energy coming out the heel of my foot. My weight is distributed equally on the three points of contact with the ground. That makes your hips square to the ground too. Heel up. Pressing the ground away actively. Again, forearms are fine. It prevents, if you're on your forearms, it prevents you from doing something funky with your hips. Three, two, one. Take it over to your back. I'll just put my towel down here. And put those weights on your abdominal area. On your back, weights on your abdomen, coming up into a bridge hold. Squeeze that booty, hold it right here. When you're getting comfortable here, I want you to march it. March it, it's not for speed, it is for control. I want this butt squeeze the whole time. You are not arching your back, you're not pushing your hips up to the ceiling. You're hitting a plank stomach, you're hitting a flat stomach. Hold those weights so they don't fall or roll onto your face. Good job, time. We're back to the top. We're back to our scissor presses. So one way in each hand or your towel in each hand, a towel. Legs are up and then we're gonna lower each leg and press up. Good job, everybody. Press, press. Shoulders can be on or off the mat. It is up to you. But your lower back has to be pressed into the mat. Do that by exhaling and pressing into the mat and adjusting the level of your leg. Woo! Three, two, one. Beautiful. I think we're at our bear high plank hop. Yes. High plank, row, row, bear, row, row. Row, row, <laughs> row, row, high plank. Squeeze that booty, you can be on your knees if you want. Give me one row, one row. Then you walk or pop your legs into bear. Row, row, walk or pop your legs back. Row, row, neutral spine. <sighs> Squeeze that booty. Again, you can have your knees on the ground for that bare row. It's totally fine. Beautiful. Sit on your boot. Tay, I'm going to have just one weight. Easy to manage when you're doing a twist. Shoulders down your back. You're in a V. You can have your legs on the ground. You can have one leg up. You can have both legs. Proud chest the entire time. Shoulders down your back. Breathe. And do any combo of that. If you could do with no legs on the ground for a little bit, then you're like, okay, let me straighten my back. Go ahead and put your legs down the ground. Listen to your body. Time. What do we have? Our duckies next. Yes. One weight. Lock it in here. You're squeezing it. You're squeezing it behind your calf. You can be up or down on your forearms. Pressing that ground away. Knee up. This time I'm going to have my hands on the ground. My navel is to spine. Preventing my hips from dipping towards the ground. Press it up. It's not a huge move. You're not trying to like get your heel all the way up to the ceiling. You're just pressing up. All your muscles should be ignited. Pressing that ground away. Beautiful. 
and time. Switch sides. Let now it's in the other leg. Squeeze it so that weight's not going anywhere. There we go. Press it up. That knee does not come back into contact with the ground. Navel to spine. Again, you could be down on your forearms. It's totally up to you. What's more comfortable? What's going to isolate that move into your butt and hammies more? Oof, without compromising your back. Breathe. Press that ground away. Good. On your back for the bridge. I'm going to use my two weights. Putting them on my abdomen, holding them, getting that butt up in the air. Squeeze it. Squeeze that butt spider up. And then when you're ready, march your legs. Good job. Fall into your breathing. Nice. In and out. Squeeze that butt. Press that ground away with that heel as it comes into contact with the ground. Beautiful. Let, relax your butt, relax your back, lay down on the ground. Scissor, press. Last time through the circuit. Here we go. Press it and scissors. You could do, you can move your weights together and do a real, uh, man, I'm missing the word. Getting more into your chest muscle. Press that back into the mat. Good job, good job, good job. Keep going. Shoulders away from your ears. They like to creep up in these moves. Time. Flip it over. We have the high plank row to a bear row. Hop it, hop it, walk it. You do you. Hit that high plank. Squeeze that booty. Row it, row it. Knees come in. Row, row. Feel a difference in that bear row to the high plank row. Oh, yes. The bear row is harder for me than the high plank row because you've just minimized your surface area, your stability. Time. Russian twist on your bootay. I have one weight, legs up or leg, one leg up or both legs, heels down, shoulders down your back. Like you're talking to people, what? Huh? One side, then the other. Everybody wants your attention. Make sure you're breathing. Keep going. Breathe, you're almost there. Three, two, one. Get that little weight behind your leg, behind your knee. Clamp it in there. Here we go. Oh, I'm going to go up. I like this one. Pressing that heel up. Press that ground away, navel to spine. Good job, everybody. Get that heel, that heel's pressing up to the ceiling. Your navel is to spine. So good for your bootay and your lower back. Time.
time, switch your legs up. Get, lock it in there. You don't want to roll around. Press that ground away. Knee is directly under your hip. That knee that's on the ground. Heel goes directly straight up. Navel to spine. Press that ground away. Creating an active muscle system. <laughs> Breathe. <sighs> Good job, good job. Three, two, one. On your back, bridge march. Last move in this circuit. Then we have one more cardio push, and then we're done. Here we go. Get that booty up, squeeze it tight, march those legs. Oh. I want you to get the weight in the heels of your feet. Even bring your toes up off the ground if you can. Oh. That's gonna move the move to where it should be. Which is your hammies. Squeeze that booty and your booty. Shoulders are on the ground. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Oh gosh, drop the weight. Yes. Okay, that was circuit whatever, and it's done. All, me, all that matters is it's circuit done. Okay, um, actually, you're gonna use your weights in this next round. And we're gonna do four moves again, each for one minute. So I'm gonna keep those weights over closed. Let me show you the moves. We are up and down. We're gonna start up with a squat. We're gonna go down for woman makers. We're gonna go on our back for a sit up and press, and then Jackson press. Okay, let me just pause this a hot second. Show you the first move. So, first move is a squat. I want, if you want it to be weighted, it's going to add a lot more resistance. So, I want guess the number four squats, four squats, and then four jump squats or four squat to toes. Okay, so then you add a jump or you do a squat to toes. Okay, that's the first move. Second move is a woman maker, which you guys know it is a row, row, push up, pop those legs in, curl and press. Third move, we're just on our back and we're doing a sit up and press up. And then the fourth move, you could use your weights or not, and it's a jack and press, okay? Those are our four moves. No AMRAP, no pyramid, one move or a combo of move for one whole minute. So let me get a sip of water. We are starting in 15 seconds. Tap into your gas tank, pull it out the reserves, give some max effort here. Shoulders down your back. Here we go. Three, two, one, four regular squats. Squeeze that booty at the top. Four squats of toes or jump squats. Shoulders down your back, three. You got this. Getting off the ground with weights in your hand is another ball game. You're almost there. Under 10. Yes, down into your woman maker. So, hit that row, row, push up, pop those legs in, curl those arms, press it up. Row, row, push up, to squat, to curl, to press. Make noise 
because it helps. Good job, everybody. You do you. Finish this one out. Finish it out. We are coming onto the ground. We are hitting sit-ups. So you are hitting a sit-up and press. If the sit-up is too much, hit a crunch and press. You are doing great. Oh, the resistance is banana cake. Make sure you exhale where that effort is. Good job, keep going, keep going, you're almost there. You got five seconds, give me one or two more. Come on up, we got our last move right here. Squat leg, I mean squat legs, jack legs, and a press. <laughs> keep going, keep going. We got this. Well, I shouldn't stop. Keep going. I stopped my momentum. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Less than a ta ba ta round. Oh, we got five. Time, time, time. Get rid of those weights. Get rid of those weights. I need a drink of water. Good job. Okay. Let's get that breath down. You're rather in control. Big deep breath in. Oh. And out. Fill those lungs up. One more. Beautiful. Open those arms up. Connect them behind you to open that chest. Open those shoulders. Pressing those arms up. Chin up to the sky. Release them. And hug yourself. Separate those shoulder blades. Give yourself a head roll. Shoulders are down. And the other way. Beautiful. Come on over to one side. Really reach, sending your hips the opposite way of your hand. Energy out those fingers, both, both fingers, both sets of hands, both hands. How about that? Go to a flat tabletop. Energy again, out your hands. Electric, bring that head to me. Hug that leg. Oh, hug it, send that booty up. Walk those hands right to center. Flip those hands so your fingers are facing back and walk them through your legs. Beautiful, reach through. Reach through the other side. Relax that head, shake it no. Shake it yes, nod it yes. Good, bring those hands back and come on and hug the other leg. Good job, Lee. Really hugging it in. Come up to that beautiful tabletop. Energy out your hands. Neutral spine, shoulders away from your ears. Face forward. Reach, 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 reach over. Pressing this hip, you should feel a stretch right here from your hip up into your core. Come back up. Good job. Grab your stability and then grab your quad, pressing it in. I like to adjust my arm and how I, 
I bend it and where my shoulder is to get a more effective stretch in my hip flexors. Beautiful. And actually put that foot out front, flex it up, shoulders down your back, scoop. Oh, feel that posterior. Beautiful, other leg, laces in. Good job. We hit our biceps, we hit our shoulders, we hit our back today with those dumbbells or any resistance that you use. So good job. Yes, flex that foot up in front, sit back with that booty. Big deep breath in. Oh, ho, 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 ho. scoop. Yes, oh my God, that feels so good. And with one big deep breath in. Good job, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy snow day. 